Welcome to the Whimsy Channel, a place where I show you how to use Whimsy to positively affect your everyday life. Now there's three rules for something to be whimsical. Rule number one, it has to be surprising or out of the ordinary. Rule number two, has to be safe for yourself and everyone around you. And three, it has to be delightful. And all of these three rules and anything that has to do with Whimsy must begin and end with thoughtful love. And that's it. Today, I'm really excited to share with you something that I found. Now, there's multiple ways that you can actually bring more whimsy into your life, actively bring it into your life. You can either spot it, so you're going about your day and you just happen to see it and bam, there's whimsy. You can go out and discover it. So you see an ad online or you hear about something, a friend tells you, hey, you gotta go check out this place or this festival and you go. I mean, right now it's a little tricky with the pandemic, but <laughs> hopefully it won't be like this way forever. And there's still lots of things you can discover whimsy wise. And three, you can create it. So you can make something at home, you can bake something or make something with paper mache or anyways, there's lots of options. Today, I actually found something that where I went on Discovered Whimsy, and that thing is dun, 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 crumble cookies. Oh, I shouldn't do it like that. <laughs> it came in this beautiful pink box. I heard about crumble cookies, I think from a friend, and I was like, hmm, crumble cookies. So, I decided that I was going to go out and discover the whimsy of crumble cookies. What I was especially excited about is that this week they had a theme of carnival cookies. So each week they actually come up with four new flavors and they only offer six different flavors of cookies. They always have two staples which are a sugar cookie and it's like an ice sugar cookie and a chocolate chip. And they have, every week, they have four different new flavors. And this week, their theme was um, carnival. Okay, I'm gonna show you these cookies. And they're so big. <laughs> okay, so I opened the box and the cookies are so big. <laughs> like, I'm not complaining. I love me a huge cookie, but like if you buy these and you don't want to go into like sugar coma, I would probably suggest you maybe share with a friend. So um, the first the, the first flavor I'm going to show you is the chilled raspberry lemonade. So here is the chilled raspberry lemonade. It smells good. They have cotton candy. I'm really excited to try this one. I really love cotton candy. Talk about a whimsical snack. Okay, so here's the cotton candy one. Oh, it's beautiful. They have hazelnut churro. Churro. <laughs> they have hazelnut churro right here. So good. Oh my gosh, that looks insane. And the last thing they have is caramel popcorn. Talk about, oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Caramel popcorn. Talk about like a whimsical cookie. Um, so these aren't your these aren't your standard famous Amos cookies, that's for sure. So uh, I'm gonna go get a napkin. Boom, napkin. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I also made sure to get a little bit of almond milk. So we'll have that to go with it. The first thing I'm gonna try is, I'll just go down the line. I will start with the, the raspberry lemonade cookie. I love this combination. Uh, wow, okay, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very, it's nice and summery. And um, it's it's very much sugar cookie like, but it's got those nice lemon and fruit flavors. So yeah, that's delicious right there. Okay, the next cookie I'm going to try ooh, is the cotton candy one. Cotton candy is amazing, it's just so fun. I mean, it's straight sugar, but you know. Here we go, I wonder what these little, little fun little bits on top here. Okay. Mmm, mmm, that's good. 
That's very good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as cotton candy-y <laughs> as I thought it would be, but that is also very delicious. I feel like as you're eating them too, you think about the actual thing that you could be eating, like cotton candy. And so I think that makes it like an extra sort of whimsical thing. Okay, I saw a picture of the hazelnut churro online and I think it's filled with something. And can I just say that I love desserts that are filled with yummy curds or whatever because uh, cause it's just, it's that little surprise inside, right? It's it's like its own little, little whimsy. So uh, here is, here is the hazelnut churro right here. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's good. It reminds me of the, um, a giant snickerdoodle. <laughs> and, uh, I think you'd, you'd have to bite in a little farther to see the, uh, the inside here. But, oh wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's so good. Oh wow. Who would have thought of putting those flavors together? That's wonderful. Okay. Last cookie. This is the salted caramel popcorn. Also, I do love popcorn, so. Especially when it's flavor with something. Now, my one thing about when they put popcorn on desserts is a lot of times it gets stale, but I wonder, since it's caramelized popcorn, if it won't do that, so. I'm going to try the this bite on the side here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> I was right. It's not stale because of the caramel. That one might be my favorite. Um, <laughs> and a lot of times with caramel, um, it's, it's, it can taste kind of synthetic-ish, but that was lovely. And you get all those textures with the popcorn and the soft cookie. And um, yeah, this one, this one might be our winner. <laughs> so wow. Crumble cookies, guys. It's the place to be. I got my milk, huh? Yummy. And uh, yeah, if they're close to you, just drive over. That's all I did. Put on your mask, drive over, pick on, pick up some cookies. You have a lovely treat for yourself or your family or friend, and it's just it's just something different, right? Like it's something that you won't get every day, but every once in a while, yeah, treat yourself, you know? <laughs> so anyways, that's my, my endorsement. Thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you again for joining me for the third episode of the Whimsy Channel, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Have a wonderfully whimsical day. <laughs>